Welcome to the Step 1 of You study guide, and in this lesson, we learn about the cytoskeleton and an in-depth tour of the microtubule. The cytoskeleton is a collection of proteins that gives the cell its structure and allows for movement and cell division. The proteins of cytoskeleton are microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. Microfilaments are composed of actin, which make up the muscle and microvilli. They mainly function in muscle contraction and the pinching off that happens during cytokinesis. Intermediate filaments function primarily to maintain the cell structure. Examples of intermediate filaments are vimentin, desmin, cytokeratin, lamins, glial fibrillary acidic protein, or GFAP, and neurofilaments. Microtubules function in cell division and movement. They organize the mitotic spindle, arranged in a 9 plus 2 fashion in cilia and flagella, and route the movement for axonal trafficking. The structure of microtubules is composed of alpha and beta tubulin subunits. These subunits will dimerize and contain two GTPs bound. The dimers then polymerize into a helical array structure. This structure can grow slowly then collapse quickly. The microtubules are polar with a positive and negative end. The negative end is near the nucleus and the positive end points to the periphery. This section here is called a protofilament. Because it has two charged ends, this enables proteins to travel directionally along the microtubules. The protein dyne travels from the positive to negative end in retrograde transport. Kinesin travels from the negative to positive end in anterograde transport. Ready? Attack! An example of these proteins is the transport of mitochondria, lipids, proteins, and other organelles on the axon of neurons. Clostridium tetani, herpes simplex virus, poliovirus, and rabies all utilize dyne for retrograde transport into the neuronal body in order to infect the host cell. There are drugs that act to inhibit microtubule formation. Microtubules get constructed very poorly with these drugs. Mebendazole, an anti-helminthic, chrysofulvin, antifungal, colchicine, anti-gout, Vincrocine and vinblastine, anti-cancer, and paclitaxel, an anti-cancer as well. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.